All right. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Super Mario Odyssey Any Percent League. Um, that is obviously being sponsored by Plan B Esports. Um, and I'm joined by Source Twenty Eight. Hi there. Hi. So yeah, today we we have a Dancer Two One O Six and Lucid. Uh, it's going to be a fun match to watch. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, um, just a reminder for everyone in chat, there is a prize pool um, doing exclamation point prize in the chat. And you can see that Plan B Esports have kindly donated 250 euros to the prize pool. And you can also contribute towards it if you want by going to that PayPal link. Um, and yeah, um, as I say, we've got a, a good match today. Obviously, we've got two runners here, both with the uh, 58s. Um, and Dunster's PB isn't far off Lucid's at all. Yeah, so I was gonna we... say, these are probably the closest PBs we'll ever see in a race of the league, so it should be pretty interesting. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, we're just seeing if uh, everything's getting set up. Um, we should get ready to go very shortly. How's everyone in chat doing today? What 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 filler question shall we provide? <laughs> um, Pineapple on think... pizza, chat. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> any any. Column fives in chat. Nobody will get that joke unless you watch my stream. Does anyone want any column fives? Pre-recorded, yes. This pre is in fact pre-recorded. I think all the, well, not all of the matches today, but three of them are pre-recorded. Um, being this one. Yes. Um. Well, uh, the, yeah. uh, the the stats people, I think, assuming that Matsy's in chat, I think they're doing it. Yep. So shout outs to Matsy for doing the stats today. It's a, uh, a, a pretty difficult job, honestly. Also, but we're yeah. starting from the looks yeah. of things. We are beginning. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we'll be off in a second once. Both runners DSTA offsets of a runner. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you mentioned this, Eden, but just a reminder, some people pointed out in chat there will only be five races this week because Daw versus... Who's Daw's opponent this week? Is it uh, Hey there? I, I had a feeling it was Anto, but I have no idea now. Oh, it might be Anto. You might be right here. No, it know. isn't Anto. It's... Miwi. Miwi, apparently. Yeah, yeah so the, the match between Dar and Miwi will be both wrong. <laughs> will be postponed to next week because Dar's having some controller issues. Um, yeah. So yeah, we only have five races today, but still a lot of content to keep you going throughout the evening. The evening. <laughs> we'll the triple H changes like. name color. Uh, I think it's always been purple. It might have been dark blue before, but it doesn't seem that <laughs> far into me. 50 seconds in to comms and we're already off topic. That's a new <laughs> record. Would you, would you have it any other way? <laughs> no. Alright, no. the, they're both at the cap bridge, chat. Hey, BP. You'll be... Uh, we're already off to yeah. You'll be happy to know I learned the Metro route today. Oh, removing Bro, my works. no one cares about <laughs> your data route learning. Okay, we're here to commentate any percent. You don't see me talking about my Link to the Past Super Metro Listen, combo this first, randomizer. This, this is the first time I got to talk to BP today, okay? <laughs> anyway, going on anyway, to Anyway, both side. runners doing left side. Pog, uh, Lucid. Lucid okay. gets it, Dan gets it. Nice. We take Easy cut. 
So <laughs> no, 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 not a chance. <laughs> Second try in Lake Outfit Club, by the way. Oh, and we do have Dan's webcam in the corner. Pog Chen. Pog? Look, look at that cute Danster <laughs> smile. Oh, they can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, we now we'll, we'll be seeing Dan on our streams shortly, smell. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should can look we at get that. A, can we get a hands up for Dan coming on stream shortly? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, into the Cascade Kingdom. Obviously, um, as most of you will know in the chat, this is where uh, the runners will attempt Dino Skip Skip, aka the best name trick in the game. Yeah, I assume both runners will be going for uh, DSS here, since they've both been doing it for a while in their own attempts, so should be relatively confident with it, but I think it's understandable to not go for such a time save in a race, because it can lose even more time if you don't get it. Do you think they're both going to get it first try? I don't know how optimistic I want to be. Let's have a look. Lucid going for it first. Bonks, no that's bonk. unfortunate. Dan, also Dan bonks. bonks. Alright. Both runners going to back it up. Lucid's block not getting destroyed by the chain chomp this week. Bonks again. Dan does oh, get it Dan the second gets try. It. Oh, Lucid third bonking time. for a third time. Sanch. Is he... No, he's doing it again. He's going for it again. Lucid, Lucid is a trooper today. Oh no. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Decides to it for try, and then decides to go for regular. Did Lucid change his name color as well? No, Lucid's oh, always had pink. I swear he was like purple. He's been pink for a while. <laughs> that much oh, I know. Oh my god. It was it was Lindsay that had purple. That might be what you're uh, remembering, because I know she changed hers to purple. I know Skip is slow. Yeah, but if you if Lucid kept messing up DSS, he could lose in theory infinite time. So it makes sense to uh, what is it, to go do Dino Skip if he doesn't feel like he's anywhere close to getting it. At the end of the day, the runners know what they're capable of more than we do. So. Infinite time. I mean, <laughs> you might never get it. Yeah, but there's a point where you uh, just ask your opponent nicely, hey, can we restart? <laughs> Smile. <laughs> just slide five dollars under the table. Yo, can we, uh, can, we, can we restart this? Please note that isn't what actually I happens. Was say, you have to do the there races for this try. There is absolutely no bribery going on in, in the in the Plan B any percent league. We would like to clarify this. For legal reasons, this is a joke. <laughs> True BP. That's what it'd be like right. if I did it. Then Stigart chest slip. Uh, first try. Let's see uh, if Lucid manages to get it. 5.31 exit. Um, that looks like an uh, uh, eclipse to me. Yeah, nice. Uh, I don't know if Dan will be able to make DSTA. Lucid definitely won't. Yeah, Lucid. So, so that's already a time loss for him in Sand. I don't know what else they use, but yeah, I don't think this would make yeah, it the, my offset. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, Dan won't be able to make it, I don't think, at all. Because you have to leave um, or enter sand at a specific time, I think. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not sure what offset the runners use, so I can't give a good gauge as to if Dan's going to get it or not, but we'll see. He'll know better than us, so it depends if he... Does still seem to want to plant the seed, so. I mean, you oh, could do manual DSTA. That hitbox, the the hitbox of that wall extends so far, and yeah, Dan smashed right into it. Uh, Dan saying in chat, my offset offset works until five forty one. I think he exited after that. 
Uh, it was a 531. Oh, was it? Oh, so yeah. He it was. had like 10 seconds of leeway. Yeah, he's fine. And yeah, does oh, get the well. speed. Yeah, I think Lucid will probably have to do manual DSTA here unless he wants to use the backup route, but as far as I'm aware, setting it up manually is probably the better uh, cost of action. Yeah, for me, because I'm bad at movement, because I have a bad any percent time, it's actually faster for me to do manual DSTA than it is to uh, get a backup moon like luggage, for example. Also, Lucid hasn't menued yet. Um, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, see Cut. there's a uh, nut grown. <laughs> well, obviously it didn't grow. So. I think he expected it to be there. The oh, is doing manual DSTA. I see. <laughs> Late crit pog. I forgot. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like me when I do intermediate water drought upon missing nut clip and I forget to get the piranha. You just kind Could of fall left. into your muscle memory. Dunster got Drem. The Dremster himself. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made that joke last week as well. You did make that joke last week. <laughs> well, I'm making it a common theme. <laughs> Dremster 55. But yeah, then having a nice single bill as well, from the looks of things. You made it the week before, did I ask? <laughs> Dremster doing a reverse Dremsty now. Yeah, wait, it's, <laughs> it's time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then overall having doing a... for the Dremster strat and I'm he gets it. it. <laughs> I'm at my limit. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is pre-recorded, Pengelman. And yeah, Lucid getting Drem as well. Seems to be getting single bill too. It's good. Did he get single drum still? He did. <laughs> <laughs> Lucid also going for reverse checks here, of course. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Single bills. On, on the left, Denster is about to do single throne notes drum tree. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> what is it? Is it one throne note tree? I forget what, what. I was told what it was last week and I already forgot. <laughs> note stuff. I think it's one throne note tree. <laughs> Sultan's so gonna lose it? Yeah, I'm gonna become lucid. I have returned to lucid. Yeah, Dan leaving with a... looks like a... 1014 exit? Which, considering the DSS uh, mistake, isn't too bad at all. Yeah, one A 10 Dan Steen exit? <laughs> also, Lucid, uh, I think actually opened the flower there, but thankfully didn't get launched by it. That would have been slightly inconvenient. Ha, it was a 10.15, not a 10.14. You suck. All right, listen here. <laughs> it's only 25 <laughs> seconds from Globe. <laughs> but it must have been like a high uh, 9.51. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lucid. Is that the excuse you're going with? Yep. I'm running with it. All right, onto Lake, which we have Lake Clip, which can be an incredibly irritating trick. Um, but usually runners have a good feel by it for it by this point, but definitely not uh, exempt from mistakes. We're really, like, killing this stroke into the ground now. <laughs> <laughs> 11 flat exit for Lucid. Sedge. Alright, let's have a look at Dan's late clip. Awesome. Is he going to get first trister? That looks good. <gasps> yes! oh, no. oh no! He he tried to roll too early and dived, I think, is uh, is what happened there. And yeah, he, he dived straight uh, out of bounds and back into bounds. So uh, yeah, backs it up by... Backs it up pretty well. Responded good to that. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I, I assumed. 
That's the thing when you have like the same inputs but just different contexts for different inputs, like backflipping and long jumping are the exact same, except you just have to have speed. And diving and rolling are the exact same inputs, just on ground or in the air. So yeah, mishaps like that do happen. Yeah, so yeah, Dunster's just gonna do the uh, regular Rango row. Uh, Lucid! Lucid! Having, a having some of... issue there with Jesus. his out of bounds move it. Let's get it. But it's fine. It's good. That'll be a time save on a uh, down there, so. You know. Yeah, I would imagine so. But yeah, I think Dan uh, bagged that up pretty well. Like, reacted almost instantly and grabbed the fish. Even though he was visibly shaken from his webcam feed. <laughs> it's always nice when you uh, you get webcam for the runners to see uh, their reactions to the stuff that happens. But if anything, it was, it was worse last week. When Dan got a 102, it was just it was so hard to look at him. <laughs> Is in kind of a shock. Yeah, that makes sense. At least you didn't do what I did during the qualifiers, Dan. Where I went back up and tried to do light clip again, like twice more. <laughs> yeah, but at least you had the best uh, average mech gold or whatever it was. Yeah. Pepe left. Best average mech time and zero deaths. The only one during the qualifier. That's my claim to fame in this league. Even if I didn't get to the playoffs. <laughs> oh, I thought Dan, like, accidentally pressed B and exited out of the world selection menu. I was like, what? Wouldn't be the first time I've seen it. <laughs> Alright, on to Warded. Why is Lucid so far behind? Um, has some trouble in Cascade with DSS. Um, and then missed the DSTA offset as a result. And then... And Lake was okay for Lucid. It was just a second try light clip. So yeah, mostly DSS is the main reason that we have uh, such a divide in this race so far. But we are heading on to Wooded, so all could be restored for Lucid, um, depending Hello, on how Nut Clip goes for Dan. But yeah, I think Wooded is probably where you see the biggest singular time loss in the any percent run that regularly happens. Shim, Dunster missing Nut Clip, and then Lucid can catch up by 30 seconds at least. <laughs> this is my Nut Clip consistency stayed at 100 cents. Spoiling! Spoilers! <laughs> no, it's okay, he can get Nut Clip but fall into Deep Woods like he did last week. True. D colon. Plan B zone dance to two and I was, I was talking about last week. Fair enough. Yeah, but Lucky get, gets it, so it's a spoiler. Oh! Uh, Dan? Okay, well, okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> Slightly scary for a moment. But, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. That was a yep. very sketch ramp. <laughs> Absolutely no problems whatsoever. Alright, Lucid coming up to Nut Clip. That was a nice hat return jump against the wall there. Polish Imp Lucid? Um, I can't see on the Discord overlay. Yeah, it does go Easy out Easy clap. Oh, Bam. long jump. Oh, is that... Oh. He's fine. Oh my god. That was clean. <laughs> Somebody retime that. No! Oh no, Lucid. <laughs> There's so many agile oh, no. for BST, that was really fast from Lucid. No cap. Yep, yes. Let's it on the second try. I think BTT is really crazy. Yeah, I think for like for darker that would be BTT, but for any percent, probably not. <laughs> Why for darker and not for any percent? They're the same segment. <laughs> I don't think it was BTT. And yeah, Daka BTT won't even do that strat. BTT does spin pound? How do you even grab the Muno? I need to see this. <laughs> I'm curious now. 
Anyway, uh, Dunster T106 is in the tower. The tower, yo, and Lucid's about to do a uh, flower roads, yo. The good FRS. Yeah, the good FRS. <laughs> no complexity. <laughs> yeah, stop making the joke, it died like three <laughs> kingdoms ago. It still doesn't do the capture after cat jump, just dives instantly. Way too dank. Also, yeah, Dan's had a, a pretty good race so far. Minus the uh, DSS mess. Yeah, um, we'll see how his uh, pipes goes. Yeah, pipes can be a pain sometimes because there's so many fuzzies on the screen and we play on an oversized iPad. There's quite a, a big risk for input drops in this uh, room. Oh, he didn't? Okay, never mind. I was about to say, he didn't even do the ground pound, but it's because I was watching Dar do uh, pipes, like, just grinding pipes. Um, <laughs> and I'm so used to seeing a ground pound there, though. I'll see, yeah, Lucid had a little bit of a mishap coming out of tower, stunned on the ground, but, uh, yeah, not a huge problem at all. Yeah, Lucid has had two stuns uh, so far, because um, he failed the ramp, and, yeah. That out of tower strut there. Yeah. Oh, Lucid trying to mm. go for the up throw for pipes and nearly made it. Um, even if he tries going for it, I don't think he'll be on the right cycle. He can still get a cycle here though. That looks exactly yeah, like my post. Just pipes. going yeah. for the. Yeah, he's just going for the backup there because um, of that first part there. And yeah, I didn't see Dan's. Did exit, so I think I'm gonna need the stand sh set sheet. Has anybody linked it in chat yet? I have it up. People who give me link. Oh, I found it, don't worry. Yeah, Dunster is 45 seconds ahead right now. Uh, head to head. Yeah, Dan got an 1817, which is not a bad wooded exit by any stretch. And getting. The Cloud Hint Heart from the looks of things there, yeah. Saves him a good two seconds in Day Metro. Oh, like, no, it's not two seconds, it's like... It's one. About, so yeah, it's like one. <laughs> I don't know where I got two seconds from. <laughs> I've just learnt that you don't really know the time saves for anything. <laughs> Lucid! No! Yeah, Lucy's going for Cloud Boost, having a minor miss up there. Yeah, I don't learn how much trick saves. If I know it's fast, and I can do it, I just do it. Alright. We got Dunster, gonna do Mean Tree. Oh. Who even names Meme Tree Meme Tree? It was day one, it could have been literally anyone. <laughs> I named it Meme Tree. It was me. <laughs> Take all the credit. Meme Tree brought to you by Eden 8. Exactly. Yeah, at least it also got the hint out. Yeah. Meme Tree wasn't day one, was it not? I guess I just assumed he used to dream uh, of the Dan. Oh, Dan. Yeah, tried to do the. Uh, T. Colon, Dan. Spin through a roll cancel and uh, messed up there. That's going to spawn him back at the Odyssey. Actually, uh, not incredibly tied up because uh, Lucid's still three minutes behind. But, yeah, three I minutes behind? Monkey yeah. Did I say three minutes? I meant three moons. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I wasn't- I didn't play the game day one, so yeah, I'd take Ingiver's word over mine. Ooh, Lucid having a bit of an issue with Meme Tree. Does seem to back it up well though? Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Tree Dren. Could you imagine if we called it Dr Tree Dren instead of <laughs> Meme Tree? <laughs> yeah, done getting a triple jump cage just fine. 
And then just grabbing the last moon and he's out of lost. Even if he dies Hands here, it's up. only a second. Yeah. Not um as bad as a lost as last week, but <laughs> he still did die halfway through. Casually called out. <laughs> Pepe laugh, poor Lucid, Dan. Lucid going for a reverse repeal. That looked like a good attempt. Does get it? Easy. Nice. You'd love to see it. And looks like a good triple jump catch. Nice. Easy clap, Lucid. <laughs> That's me clapping. Yeah, that was a pretty good loss from Lucid besides uh, Meme Tree. So we take those. Saved a little bit of time over down in that kingdom, for sure. Eden 8. Eden Alright, Night Metro time. Everyone's favourite kingdom. God, I Smart. hate Night Metro. <laughs> Put a 1 in the chair if you hate Night Metro. <laughs> That's a lot of ones. <laughs> yeah, Dan, a little bit low on the Goomba bounce there, but did still get it. Sometimes if you're too low, you'll end up smashing right into the Goomba and you'll just fall down. But, uh, yeah. Thankfully that didn't happen. And we do have a lot of ones in the chat. Dan's doing Goomba hug. Does get it, nice. Clean. Goomba hug. <laughs> I hate Night Metro BB. Oh, oh, no. that's just mean. Lucid got a, a bounce on the on the little part where the platform lips up. And, oh my uh, god, the backups. Up, yeah, that was spooky. Yeah, I ended up smashing into the air. Uh... Uh, Lucid kind of has to be careful with that checkpoint because I know if you're not used to picking up, you might accidentally warp to the wrong one. So, I, I think he'll be fine. Y y you sure? Yeah. H how much you think? I'm pretty sure. That that that's not an empirical number. <laughs> one. Okay, I'll take <laughs> one. All right. About to see Dancer's pattern here. Is he gonna get free cycle chat? No, uh, it's a loop. to be crossing over a bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's another loop. Nah, he's found a good spot, yeah. Mom, fine. Nice two cycle from Dan this week. Can we add two cycle wiggler to the trick sheet? Smile. <laughs> One cycle wiggler. Hold up. Ah, uh, yes. Someone needs to find, like, two Cycler Wiggler Skip or something. We can name it 5DSS or something stupid. <laughs> uh oh, Lucid's getting the. Uh, oh, this, yeah. No, <laughs> not like that, Lucid. Lucid. Nah, he's fine. Oh, oh, wow. It. That was nuts. What, that, what, what a gamer. That was a good back, like, a, a general good handling of that. Wow. Alright. So, Dancer about to do Stute Clip. Get to see Dan stick his arms out in front of his face. Does get it? Nice. Oh. Yeah, so Lucid is only 35 seconds uh, behind now. Yeah, definitely which still is anybody's the... race. Pretty pod. Yeah. 
And yeah, Lucid going to do Scoot Clip as well. Also gets drive by. Nice. And yeah, we'll uh, see. Uh, then going into slots now. Let's get it. Nice. Lucid having a having a sit down, you know, just chilling out for a second before getting back into things. Yeah, and then still going into the bullet building, where uh, it's Kyle's favorite sub area. So. All right, listen here. <laughs> for context, I have killed two darker runs in the past two days to this sub area, and this sub area is two and a half hours into darker, so. Yeah, it's, it's been, uh, interesting. Have you tried practice, practicing it? I have. I did earlier. What? D Dan was waiting... <laughs> I know exactly, uh... What happened there? Dan was waiting for the, uh, for the text. Because I think, because he did... Although, I don't get why he didn't get checkpoint text there, because he didn't do light clip. So when did he actually get rid of the text? Hmm. Peppo thing. Oh, so yeah, both runners got bullet building really nice. Dunster somehow finds a uh, checkpoint text skip. I did do the text there. It looked like you waited for it and it didn't come. I don't know if you opened up the map at some point. I was confused because I didn't remember. Ah, I see. Yeah, that might make sense. Was to grab the CP and wooded? Potentially. Because, yeah, I didn't see the text, but uh, it, it, it might have been there. And I was just confused. No reverse peoples. People leave. <laughs> Was it did CRJ building? Hot as Almost. Almost got me BP. <laughs> um, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm flustered now. I was I'm wondering so what... confused. I almost swore. Because um, BP said hot AF and I almost read out the uh, acronym. Um, but yeah, oh. I was wondering why Lucid captured the bullet bullet at a completely different point to usual. What does CRJ even stand for? Cancel roll jump? I assume it's... isn't it campy roll jump? But isn't that just what we call a vault? I or don't I know. Stupid. I might be being dumb. <laughs> Cap return. Cap return. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Like my brain just couldn't compute. <laughs> I didn't know that we uh had an acronym for that. I usually just say return jump. <laughs> to be fair, we have an acronym for everything. I feel you. I also always think cap your roll jump. Thanks, Dan. It's nice to know I'm not alone. So, time difference update. Lucid is gaining. He is now 30 seconds behind. I am pausing at a phenomenal rate. Do you think uh, Lucid's gonna go for 4DSS in luncheon to save time, <laughs> Pepper? Fight no you. one calls it that, by the way. <laughs> it, it's just called a double slope vault skip or something like that. I feel like Darker Run is a lazy BP. Like we call, we have like SPT that I had to learn to talk, to understand what you were talking about for a reroute. Spin pound turnip. Spinning platforms treasure in wooded. Oh, oh yeah, that's the uh, <laughs> that's the uh, one in a uh, lost, right? No, it's in wooded. Frick. <laughs> Triple jump, HCT, wall jump, snow jump. What's a HCT? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, WSM. Oh, my God. You know what got me? Um, 
MCCT. That got me for a while. Yeah, motion control cap throw. Ah, uh, homing cap throw. That makes sense. Man, all these acronyms, man. When, once you think you know all of them, there's like this new app. We, we need to make like a... We need to make like a an SMO dictionary. That just has <laughs> all the acronyms. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Like, I already submitted Dram to Urban Dictionary. Maybe we need all the SMO acronyms as well. SPT. Spinning Platforms Treasure. A run, a, a moon gone in wooded two of the darker side row. I mean, to be fair, it's just like having like TNT, right? Like, it's the same premise of like an acronym of a moon name. I mean, yeah, this is true. Yeah, exactly, BP. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Any percent. Did you mean CCS, LW, CL, MSSL, RBM? Yes. Yep. Could you imagine, like, oh, all moons? Did you mean, <laughs> like, all the kingdoms? And then in the order that you do them in all moons? So you'd have, like, C2, S2, <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> This is doing some hot Goomba Vectors. And yeah, I think Dan... Wait, was Dan just finished with Goomba Room? Is Lucid even closer? Although I guess it w there is a cutscene. Yeah, there is actually a lot of cutscenes in this area, so it makes sense. Even though yes. there is a... Snow is just, like... Resident Sleeper, because it's, like, long. It's very cutscene-heavy. I think it has a lot of downtime. What happens to Lucid? DSS. Missed it four times and then went for Dino Skip instead, so lost quite a bit of time. Dan going for setup less. Gets the vault. And... Gets Hog. it. Nice. You know, if someone wrote a good script for this, they would have had Dan failing Snow Drum right there. True. SMH Dan. Not throwing for content. There already is a 56. 56.06. Was he going for setup list as well? Gets the vault? And I'm not funny. It nice. I realize this. <laughs> Wrote a good script, decided not to follow it. Get there. Lusserinskip has found the new 59 runner PBs with it. <laughs> I got a 5606. I don't know how I got it, but that is two minutes faster than your time. <laughs> Not even die vault spin the <laughs> snow drum. Ah, oh, yes. Well, I'm just saying, Chip. 56 won't happen for a while. You can quote me on that. Yeah, I, I don't think 56 will happen for a good time. Oh, so yeah, this race will have been recorded uh, on, like, secret alt accounts, so you won't have seen it on Dan's stream. 28 seconds difference. Lucid still gaining on Dan. Paul's frog. <laughs> Sauce 28 seconds apart. Yeah. Yeah, Seaside are relatively a uh, chill kingdom. Usually the only real problems that people have here is from a uh, fish bonking, unless fish clip decides to be a pain. I shouldn't have said that, should <laughs> I? <laughs> well, commentators cursing for fish clip. That's the mage. But yeah, usually a, a relatively chilled out kingdom. Before luncheon. Which is quite the opposite. <laughs> what do you six. mean? Luncheon is the most chill part in the run. Luncheon's six minutes of pure pain and suffering. <laughs> Not six minutes for you, Kyle, but uh, six <laughs> minutes for these runners probably as well. <laughs> Alright, listen here. What's your lunching goal, Kyle? A six 
18? Question mark? 19. 19. <laughs> I do have a 1x in fairness. And plus I'm playing darker full time now, so my 80% cannot be used at all to just to add my skills as well. Okay, I thought Lucy took damage on the uh, sea bacon. No, nah, Lucy's got this. Sea bacon ain't got um, nothing on Lucid. Eden it. I really hope you can't hear the ice cream van outside my I house. I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, it's, it's, it's actually sunny today, so I'll, I'll I'll allow it. Normally they come through and it's like gray. It's like, bro, nobody wants ice cream in this weather. Not a soul. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of nice outside today. I probably would go get an ice cream. I want ice cream. It's snowing like hell here. <laughs> I kind of wish, like, I had my own ice cream truck. Like, could you imagine just, like, having a 99 whenever you wanted one? That would be poggers. Alright, into the Luncheon Kingdom chat. Dance is gonna do Salt Triple. Pepe. Bonk. Left. Easy clap. Easy clap. Salt triple is a free trick. Yep, absolutely never goes wrong at all. Yep. Nice RCB. It's gonna hot. What? What's an RCB, Kyle? Uh, roll cancel bounce. <laughs> yes, I need a roll cancel. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, Dan getting spiritless pog. Maybe the only person in the league without Savour. Uh, yes. Uh, I was gonna say Tylo. No, Tylo but, uh, has the bow, but Yeah, it's... Tylo got it. Yeah, it's not recorded, so I don't think it's, um, set on the stat sheet. Lucid also getting spiritless. Nice. And Dan having a little bit of a mishap going to overlooking, but yeah, it does get it in the end. Cool. Both runners gain spiritless. You love to see it. Also, how are we looking out of Seaside? Did Lucid gain some more time? Did actually. Now only 26 seconds between them. Pog. Lucid slowly but surely catching back up with Dan, but running out of time to do it. Sauce 26. <laughs> it just sounds so wrong. <laughs> Could be your emote prefix smile, which you probably should check later. Smile. Yeah, this is true. Okay, nice slots. I thought they were gonna fail at first. Damn, no faith in the plan. <laughs> nope. Yeah, Lucid actually really close to Dan now. Oh, Basically, shit. Basically, only a moon between them. Because yeah, Dan had a little bit of the, the, the mishap on overlooking, which allowed Lucid to gain some time back. And yeah, they are now on the same moon. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're, they're not on the same moon. Uh oh. Lucid! No! Oh no. Not like Dutch. Yet. Yeah, that's really unfortunate for Lucid. Didn't bounce on the um on the top of uh Cappy and the run Savapos. I assume both of them are at this point. Oh, this is a nice backup. Oh. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's gonna lose some time for Lucid, but um Probably not over for him yet. Still obviously uh room to catch up. I we just thought of an awful pun. <gasps> oh Lucid! No um oh. Yes, this game can be a bit funny with motion controls sometimes, even if you swear that you shook your controller upwards, it will give you a spin throw. That's really unfortunate. It does get in the end though. Yeah, well, I remember 
I love commentary back in the day saying like, oh, Fox Room is really scary. And I was like, no, it isn't. But yeah, it, that can happen. So... Yeah, Fox is... Uh, okay. Okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> My heart's good to Why would we do that? <laughs> um... But yeah, Fox is usually a relatively, I don't want to say easy, but normally a very consistent sub-area. That was a nice backup, not get, uh, jumping straight off the edge there. Alright, nice. I've seen what Fox Room can do. I think I saw that run too, Igaba. Any SMO boomers in chat? I guess I, I usually count myself as such. Lol, boomer. I mean, I, I think three years is quite a long time for a game that's been out for three and a half. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be watching Odyssey for three years at the end of this year. Pog. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> My knee hurts. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a you problem, isn't it, honey? <laughs> it is a me problem. My desk is a health hazard. Also, Lucid stood on top of the counter. <laughs> Did Dan die? Right. Oh no wait, no. no. Okay, I, I, I was looking at the right hand side of my screen, which has the the straight OBS stream from Peaceful Storm. And I looked over at my other monitor and Dan was at the back of the, at the start of the sub area again. So I thought he died, but uh, I'm just losing my mind. No, this is pre-recorded. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Both runners actually bunking in the same ah. place. Which is kind of funny. Is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a hot vault, though. I'm in the silent generation of Odyssey. I probably am, statistically speaking. Yeah, Lucid trying his hand at the magma sub area. Seems to go pretty well. Nice. Dan heading on to Ruined with a 4341 exit. Alright, chat. We're in the Ruined Kingdom. You know what that means. It's, just it's time. time to follow the runners. <laughs> You know, chat, running in front of an audience is not easy. Look at these runners. They are immaculate. The, the, the pure skill. If you want to follow these runners and watch more of their skilled speedruns, hit them up at twitch.tv slash lucid and twitch.tv slash gunster2106. It's been a good race so far. They deserve your follows and your love. So check them out if you want. And shout outs to um, our restreamer and organizer today, Peaceful Storm, who's an epic gamer, Holland. who also restreams sometimes. Shout outs Not restreams. They also stream, um, and they provide pretty good content, so yeah, hit them up with a follow. Also, follow the commentators if you want. Um, both of us <laughs> suck at this game. Smile. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. F follow Sauce Twenty Eight. He's oh. cute, and he runs after. What mod do you want, chat? <laughs> Wrong restreamer in the command. God damn it! <laughs> and chat, don't forget exclamation point prize <laughs> to shout out Plan B Esports who have. Kindly donated 250 euros, and they're also sponsoring the league. Thank you, Plum Esports. And don't forget to uh, also follow our stats person today, um, which is Matsy. Matsy. So yeah, that, that's it. I think. So, yeah, I think I think you covered all the bases. <laughs> Do follow Matsy.
And yeah, Lucid just going through Ruin does, then is finishing. I don't know what phase loses on the second phase. Yeah. Alright. Heading into Bowser's third down. And yeah, Lucid on the final phase of Ruin now. But yeah, Bowser's can be a bit of a pain sometimes, especially with a mech at the end. And then Moon can see some big time losses in Escape, so definitely still anyone's game, even though Lucid is how far behind out of luncheon? A minute and seven, so. Damn, he must have lost a lot of time then with those deaths. You don't really realize how much time it loses until you, like, look at your timer, I guess. I mean, yeah, like, the process of dying, especially when you're falling, is probably, like, the best part of 10 seconds. And then getting back to where you were before, like, his deaths put him back pretty far. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, Dan bonking on the starting movement. Not a huge time loss, though. Should oh, all we need is Dan to bonk 20 more times, and Lucid <laughs> will reign supreme. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I've never seen the triple jump there before. Uh, I see the triple jump pretty often. <laughs> I don't think I watch that many uh, top runners. Weird. Well, top so maybe you should follow Dancer Two One O Six and I do Lucid. follow Dancer Two One O Six and Lucid. Well, that's a you problem then. <laughs> So specifically closes his eyes right before Agra. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's too scary. I can't I can't watch. Is it bad that I do the triple jump out of that pylon? <laughs> <laughs> I just I just dive and long jump. Yeah, give it to me straight chat. I do the triple jump. <laughs> Drop that lucid. Have you watched any top runners? I'm not too, I'm not like a huge pace pal. Yeah, you are. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I ironically can't watch volleyball. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. It's just, it's so tedious. I hate doing it. <laughs> also, Dan getting the birdless shards. Pong you. Oh, I completely missed that. I was too busy watching Lucid Duogo. Yeah, I did as well. I, I I had to look over to the actual stream to uh to see it happen. Pepe left. <laughs> so I commented on it like ten seconds afterwards. Lol. Bowser Jim. Talking. you. Alright, Lucid heading over to do shards himself. Let's have a look how it goes. Dive back. Easy. Poggins. Easy. Gets the triple jump. Easy. No, oh, easy. No. Yeah, no, no, no. Lucid. <laughs> the, this. Okay, we're good. Get to the third uh, time. Uh, uh, I was about to say something. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <gasps> oh. That, 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 that's a fabulous. My heart can't take this, shards. Yeah. How can Lucy do the camera angle? True! Yeah, I don't think you saw actually what happened to Lucid. He fell down the gap, like the corner, and it barely ledge grabbed back up, which is what I got scared about. No, I saw it. Smile. Fair enough. This is camera shots are wacky but swag. People complain about my camera when I'm doing shots. Your, your camera in general just sucks. <laughs> Snow drum shards. <laughs> I don't have any modded examples. Is it bad that I've been playing Darker for so long that I figured I thought that Lucid forgot two moons there when he just went straight across the shop island? I was Lord. like, wait, he's not capturing the Jizo. <laughs> <laughs> Lucid the Jizo. <laughs> Jizo moons are fast. It's pretty fast. They're actually not that slow. I assume That's they why they're in uh, darker smell. True. 
<laughs> I assume they meant Anto, <laughs> not small. And... Small Anto gaming. Way too dang. Theoretically. <laughs> well, so yeah, Lucid. Lucid does. Yeah, Harry. Okay, does, then. This is final brutal. Wait, did we get some secret information that I missed? Okay, kind of mind. <laughs> what? No, I was saying it. okay, Dan, because he was doing the blind jump and uh, it was kind of sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if there was something in restream chat that I missed. Secret info. <laughs> <laughs> What's done in a comment halfway through the restream? <laughs> Oh yeah, we we're actually swapping out Anto Gaming with Small and Confirm. <laughs> Do not tell anyone. It's listen, a surprise. Listen, you never know, okay? <laughs> we we're gonna host a min caps tournament. Free caps only. Also, oh, it's time for me. Is it? Yeah. Is it? At least for them. Free <laughs> caps done. <laughs> God damn it! That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, done finishing neck like a gamer. Where's that? Eden, can you go into our DMs and click the pinned message and just look at the image? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, honey. Do you, do you want me to put it in chat as well? I'm <laughs> sure. It's a good image. Oh wait, does it have does it have naughty it, words it, in it? it? It has a swear word, but I can edit it. I don't yeah. think I can actually post links in chat. Never mind. Yeah, you get yeeted if you do that. Yeah, yeeted. That's why I, I couldn't pull the prize command last week because I was timed out in the chat that I was commentating for. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is still a Sabao pace for Dan, right? Yeah, definitely still uh, Sabao pace for Dan. Kind of? Yeah, it is. Depends um, how good his moon is, I, I guess. Mean, yeah, if he gets a good moon, he Sabao is this, for sure. But uh, to be fair, it could still be a pretty awful moon. Alright, oh, at least uh, it's. Oh, oh my god. That what was the sketchiest thing I've seen Easy in my life. Clap. Lucid popped off doing the new mech strat. What a gamer. They that angle. Low sense TA. I don't get how Lucid actually plays on low sense. Like, I, I, like, it, it's like you're pulling a ton way across with your camera. <laughs> Didn't he switch his camera sensitivity, or did he, like, decide against doing that? Um, I don't think he did. I thought he was talking about it a while ago. He might have been. I know he definitely had it on low sense when Lindsay was there. Pepe laughed Lindsay. I play high sense. I play on very high sense. I have high sense now. I've been converted. I used to play on. A, I used to play on the high sense, but then I switched it to very high just for the tactical advantage. God, low sense is actually so bad because it takes like thirty seconds to change your camera around. Yeah, it's. Oh. Does Dan still get Dan. that? Oh, oh my god. Park. That was like the most scuffed spin pound of the Sphinx I've ever seen, but yeah, he's still got a... Still got the what is it? One wall jump moonscape? Big gaming. Yeah, I have no idea, G-Man. I'm on very high sense and I barely turn my camera in time. Eden 8. Eden 8. Alright, Dan heading into the Moon Bowser fight. 
and then escape. This is starting off with Moon. Nice vector. Those are like some nice vectors, yeah. Yeah. Good really job, good. Lucid. I'm proud. <laughs> oh, very high. Monka well. esque. Yeah. yeah, almost got smacked by the Moon Snake there, but we are good. Every time I commentate Lucid and Moon, I just think about that clip. <laughs> you Wait. know the one. Am I being dumb? The one where I comms with Cindy, and I was like, yo, yo, oh, and then he, yeah. he, 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 yeah, he then falls. He died. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> nice Moon so far for Lucid, to be honest. I, I play on medium for motion controls, Dan. I have very high stick sense and then medium motion control sense. Yeah. Both runners in the battle to fight now. Yeah, exactly, BP. That was like my uh, my logic for it, just to have the best mobility. But for for motion controls, I think it's fine because you can physically move faster, whereas your stick is a set sensitivity. If that makes sense. And I didn't even heading into look at what <gasps> escape time he needs. Lucid got done dirty. Sedge. Yeah, slightly off with the, the timing to hit the hat there. Y'all have a... Uh, what uni? <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 2D skip time. Yep. Let's have a look. Easy. Nice. Easy climb. Not getting the bug. XD. <laughs> no. <laughs> Angie. And uh, yeah, Lucid finishing up the fight and heading into escape himself now. So yeah, Dan looking at a 59, pretty much. Yeah, like a 59 Forex. I would say. Um, Lucid probably looking at like a low 101, high 101. So yeah. Kiss my control because I had to blow into my stick because I started drifting. <laughs> Listen, all right, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put all your passion in, into the game, you know. Including your uh, peripherals. It's like a 48. Yeah, that sounds about right. 48 pillars, pod. Ah, yes. Komodo <laughs> hype. We are done finishing up the race with a... 46? Maybe a 47. No, I think it's a, I think it's a 59, 46. That's no, 47. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> GG to Dan oh. Stone. Yeah, one minute off PB. Not bad at all. Yeah, good race from, from him for sure. And uh, yeah, Lucid heading into Pillars here. 47 Pillars. <laughs> the timer has stopped. Oh, we're back. There we go. Yeah, looking like a, a low 101 from Lucid, a 101 OX. So, yeah. Unfortunate that the race started off for Lucid with uh, the, the DSS mistakes. Kind of uh, really set the precedent at the beginning. Which yeah, I, but... yeah, really sucks for Lucid. But he did make a valiant effort at pulling it back. Was only 26 seconds behind Dan out of Seaside? I think. What's this? Yeah, I think that was Seaside. So yeah, Man yeah. managed to pull it back quite a lot. Um, but then, yeah, the luncheon mistakes kind of really cemented it, so... Yeah, it does look like we're going to be getting an interview from Dan. I don't know if Lucid's coming in for an interview or not. Search. But yeah, this race is pre-recorded, so it's understandable. And yeah, Lucid finishing with a 102 from the looks of things. Instantly closing the game. People leave And Lucid. turns off the switch. Feels bad, man. Didn't delete the software, there's still hope chat. 
But, uh, yeah. If Dan wants to, I assume Dan just has the power to join the VC. So if you want to do that, Dan. <laughs> Dan over here, like, drag me in whenever when he can join <laughs> yeah. the VC. Drag me in. Bro, join. There we go. Hello, Dan. <laughs> Danster2106. What's up? Hi. 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 So, uh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> when you two are finished, how do you uh how, how do you think that race went? <laughs> um I mean I think obviously like because it was sub hour it was pretty good. Uh yeah, for sure. But like stupid things that happened were just like late clip and loss 